Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Code Ray, and if you're new here on this channel, I help you to navigate and succeed in your tech career. So keep on watching if you want to pursue a job in tech or is thinking about going into tech. Before we get started, just want to say this video is brought to you by Wix. So huge shout out to them. And in this video, I will be showing you how to make an online portfolio. One of the most underrated steps in the recruitment process and getting a tech job is actually having an online portfolio. So an online portfolio is actually a personal website that you have that showcases a broad description about yourself, your past projects, past work experiences, and your future goals that you have pertaining to what you're looking for in your job recruitment process. This is extremely helpful for recruiters to see all the things that you've done in a very easy way apart from having your resume. Personally, for those of you who didn't start with computer science, who don't have any work experience, or who went into computer science for another major or for another field, this will be extremely helpful to you because you rely heavily on your previous past side projects that you have, which are easily showcased online because you can showcase a video of your personal project on your personal portfolio or even a demonstration of it. Now, let's see some examples of portfolios here. You can actually find more examples of portfolios to give you inspiration by going on GitHub. All right, but now let's get to the point. So how do you make an online portfolio and why should you use Wix to make an online portfolio? So when I was actually recruiting during my whole job recruitment process, looking for internships and jobs at top tech companies and fan companies, I spent a lot of my time preparing for the technical interviews by doing lead code, by looking up data structures and algorithms, and also looking at design interviews so that I can best prep for the technical interviews. But a lot of people have been asking me, yo, like, did you make a personal portfolio on my website yet to showcase your skills? And I actually had it and I've been putting it off for an extremely long period of time because I would have to start from scratch and making a website. And there's a lot of steps that come from making a website on your own that I didn't really want to do, including maintaining the website, paying for the domain of the website, making sure there is high search optimization for the website, and also just making the website. And when I actually made mine, there was actually a lot of bugs and problems with it that it took a lot of time to fix. And this time could have been made for doing more lead code questions and doing and learning better data structures and algorithms. So then when I got to the interview, I would be better prepared. Now, this is when I realized I needed to switch to Wix to use my online, to create my online portfolio. And the reason why I switched to Wix was that Wix creates a platform, a very intuitive platform for you to create an online website that not only is managed by Wix, so you have plenty of time yourself in order to basically work on legal problems and prepare for the technical interview while having your website up there, being looked at by recruiters and just being managed by Wix. It also has a really great way, a lot of templates for you to use and a really clean interface that allows you to put as much information as detailed as you can without making it overbearing for the recruiters. I personally used Wix in the beginning and it was very helpful for my recruitment process because a lot of recruiters liked looking at the clean and beautiful interface that it had. And also it helped showcase my side projects in a way that best portrayed my skills that I had for the specific company. Okay, so let's now get to how did I create my personal portfolio on Wix and in this video, I will go through a step-by-step -step process and walk you through the whole process. All right, so before we get started, let's take a look at a list of some of the things, a checklist as you may, of the things that you will need on your personal portfolio. So first off, we need an about section. So it's a brief description about yourself and maybe possibly a goal section for what are you looking for, your statement of job recruitment, and next section we need is your basically your past work experiences. This is pretty crucial. Make sure it's decently as detailed as possible. Next section you need is your side projects or your personal projects. In this aspect, you can make it detailed or you can make it simple in which you include like a video or a demonstration of your work. And that's highly recommended for people because it really allows a recruiter to understand what you've done in more than words. And finally, in your personal portfolio, you can add your contact information. And this really helps a recruiter to help contact you if they found your personal portfolio through Google or through someone else. Personally, I like to keep my online portfolio very clean and very easily readable so that a recruiter wouldn't have to go through a bunch of tabs to learn about me. They will be able to see directly my past work experiences and my personal projects so that they're able to get a better grasp 
of what kind of developer I am because a recruiter won't have that much time to take a look at your personal website. They might have about three to five minutes max. So make sure in those three to five minutes, you're able to capture the recruiter's attention by showcasing your best skills. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be commenting over how to make a portfolio using Wix and showing you guys all the steps in order to make a portfolio on Wix. Before I get started, if you want to make your own portfolio website using Wix, make sure to check out my tracking link. It's gonna be in the description below and it's gonna really help support the channel. But without further ado, let's get started. So first off, we're gonna make a portfolio. And in this section, as you can see that Wix is either gonna make a website for you or you can make a website. Um, so I want to edit a template myself. And as you can see, Wix is amazing because they give you so many templates that you can use. So here, a lot of people who are UI UX designers, graphic designers, um, you can use a different kind of template based on what you want. I'm personally a more of a simple kind of person, so I like a more simplistic template. So I'm gonna choose either the business CV or the creative CV, and I'm thinking about choosing more of the business CV because it relates to more of the people who are watching this video. So I'm basically gonna start with editing the business CV. And so basically you can just click on edit and Wix will create your template for you. You can see that we have a whole template set up. So after this, we're gonna start with the left-sided template. What we're gonna do is we're gonna basically change our portfolio, I mean, change your profile picture first. You wanna make sure you have a really good headshot for your profile picture. So we're gonna choose my headshot for my YouTube account and I'm gonna put that on there. And Wix really is able to basically format the picture for you, so it's amazing. And I'm gonna change my name and also I'm gonna change my title to software engineer and code Ray. And as you can see, a lot of things are customizable. We're gonna start at the top left and we're gonna change our uh, name, I want to change our role to software engineer and also our name. And you just want to make sure to basically change everything on the page because you don't want anything else from the recruiter to see that it is template. So make sure to change everything on that page. And as you can see, there's different designs that you can use. Um, you can have different colors too, and they look really cool. You can also move everything around so it looks really good. Um, I'm gonna keep it the same um, because I really like the template they have so far and also the very simple design that they have. Ch also change the bottom left to whatever um, footnote that you have. And as you can see, we're gonna change some of the links. So for some of these links, I'm gonna change my Instagram to my Instagram and I'm gonna change my LinkedIn, but make sure to include your LinkedIn, maybe your Instagram, maybe a social media, and also your GitHub. So that's super important for recruiters to find you. Okay, right, so on this right side of the page, uh, as you can see this hello, I currently am thinking about maybe taking off the hello, but for the subtitle, make sure to put things that your uh, people have described you as. So I'm gonna put programmer, designer, and leader, because that's the things that I want to be able to, like adjectives to describe me. And I'm also gonna put the code Ray, because I like, I don't really like having the hello, I like just having my name there. And so here we go. We have the two buttons. For this for second button, I'm gonna change it to personal projects because I like how it's just better to be able to use. And you can see it links to everything. So it's, everything's basically customizable. Um, you can uh, change things to be in the top right or the top left. And I'm gonna have a personal projects and my resume and I like those buttons. I'm gonna change my current text. And in this section of the text, you want to talk about who you are, like if you're currently a student, what major you are, like what you did before. And also talk about like maybe some things that you want to get out of having this portfolio. So do you want to become, do you want to get a software engineering job? Do you want a job in UI UX? And maybe even talk about what background you have. And so I'm going to put that there. Make sure to be concise and as simple as possible because a recruiter doesn't have that much time to take a look at it. As you can see here, you can change the names of any of these tabs. You can add tabs, you can move tabs. It's really customizable, which is super amazing. And so I'm thinking about it. I decided to change my resume and my personal projects into different locations because I want my personal project to be the main focus. Okay, so now at the bottom right, you can see that there's a call, a write, and a follow. As you can see, I want to include those social media, but I think the phone number and the email is super important because those are also on your resume. And those are ways that your recruiter can get to you. So I want to put them in the front page. So I'm gonna move it to the top and change my cell and also my email on the top left so that are in the center so that people can see it easily and if they like my work they can easily see where they can contact me because i don't want to put it in the bottom right because a lot of times recruiter missed that and it's also super small so seeing that in the actual center of the page helps a lot with allowing a recruiter to contact you directly okay as you can see i want to include a button if i want to include a button i want a recruiter to be able to easily download my resume so i'm going to put that right there i'm going to link my resume and this really helps because if a recruiter doesn't want to see the rest of the stuff that you 
you have and your Wix and the rest of the sections that you have in your portfolio, you want to be able to let them download your resume easily so they can see that instead. But now we're gonna go to personal projects. And as you can see, I am changing the title. I want to make it bigger. I want to make it be called personal projects and I want to make it easily viewable for the recruiter. And so in this paragraph, you could just talk about like, oh, these are my personal projects that you can use, or these are personal projects and how long I've been working on them, just like many of the things that I started with. Okay, as you can see here, there's three areas where it looks really good to put your project. In these areas, you can basically change the title of your project. Um, you can change like how long you worked on them. So for one of them, I did charitability. And so I'm gonna change it, you know, basically change the fonts, change everything to be the way that you like it. Um, for the role a title, I suggest basically putting um, how long you worked on the project or like what kind of role you did on a project. So if you were the manager or if you were just the software engineer for the project and you're working on someone's larger project, um, as, as you can see in this area, you can also include a clip and you can include a clip of maybe a video to like the project or you can include a photo of the project or you can even include a demonstration of you doing the project. And if you're including a video or like a website, I would highly include those links on the left. But in this case, I have my charitability. I'm just gonna include a photo. I'm gonna be able to format the photo and um, as, as long as it looks good, I want to make sure that it matches the rest of the template. So as you can see, I'm going to move it over and drag that out just to make sure everything matches. Okay, so now I'm gonna edit the the text for what exactly I did. So there's three so there's three things that I highly suggest everyone to do. One is to use bullet points, and two is to start with an action verb, and three is to basically include quantity in your um, bullet points. So you start off by talking about like what you created this project in, and then you can talk about like what you actually did. So in terms of quantity, if you directed it, make sure to talk about like how many people you worked with or like how much this project actually affected other people, how many people it actually like, you know, changed. So what we have here is like raised over 10,000 for various charities across the world. So having that number in there really helps for recruiters. Make sure to include numbers, even if you can't, make sure to try to get those quantities from somewhere. Okay, so now we're gonna basically change to navigate to the resume section. So the resume section is really important because it highlights the other stuff that you have. So personal projects is the first thing that recruiters can look at, but um, resume is more important because it has your education and your work experience. If you don't have any work experience, I recommend you putting a lot more personal projects on, but specifically for your resume, you can you don't have to name this tab resume. You can also name it work experience. You can have a tab called education. I'm gonna keep resume, but I'm gonna put my work experience here. As you can see that button, this is download CV. I have a resume, so I'm gonna allow them to download my resume and I'm gonna upload it here, but as you can see, make sure your resume is on there and make sure your work experience is first before your education because they care mostly about work experience. And I'm gonna start off changing the section titles because one of them I want technical skills and the other one I want programming languages. I think you guys should follow this too. Make sure to basically add the same subtitles um, based on this video too. So for the first work experience, you want to talk about like where you work. So for me, I was a software engineering intern. I'm gonna put Nordstrom and I'm gonna put the company location. I'm gonna fix it up a little bit and one thing that I like highly suggest doing is actually putting an image below that, an image of the company because a lot of image helps with a reader to understand the portfolio more. I currently didn't have an image for that so I'm just gonna leave that space for you to put your image. And also, just like writing your description for your project, I highly suggest you know using the exact way to write it in your work experience. So using starting with an action verb, using bullet points, and talking about specific quantity values. So in this case, I directed, I increased, and as you can see in the bullet point for increase, I talk about um, creating an internal tool efficiency by more than 25% and directed three to five people. So that really helps with a recruiter understanding exactly the impact that you had on the team or the work experience that you had. But if you didn't have work experience, don't worry about it. Make sure to have really good side projects to boost it up. As you can see, I am just dragging everything to make sure everything's in the right place. Make sure to leave space at the bottom in order to put the picture of your company because the recruiters are able to see that more easily. In this case, I'm going to finish with education. So I'm going to talk about like when I went to the specific school, um, maybe even for the blue, I would put the name of the school versus just the year, but that is always up to you. 
um, make sure everything is also in chronological order. So in your education, start with your most recent one and your work experience, start with your most recent one and see in my education, I can also like put an image in the bottom left. As you can see in my bullet points, I talk about my GPA, I talk about my honors, um, talk about your leadership, and make sure that a lot of these pertain to what you're looking for. So if you're a software engineer, if you wanna go for software engineering roles, make sure to talk about the leadership that you have in technical clubs. And you can even put courses in there as well. As you can see, I put intro to data structures and algorithms, which is also a really important course if you have not taken it before. But you can also include boot camps that you have. As you can see, I showed that you can include a boot camp. Make sure to include in your education also the certifications that you made. Um, include everything that can pertain to helping you get the job. Don't be afraid to put anything in a section. And as you can see in technical skills and certifications, I have Arduino. Maybe you did a project online. Maybe you got a certification online for a specific thing. Um, make sure to put that on there too because everything helps. Even if it's a small thing, even if it's something that you don't think can help you a lot, make sure to put it on because it shows how much effort you went in to create it. For programming languages, um, make sure to put your most fluent programming language first and talk about like how fluent you are in the programming language in the parentheses after it. So if I know Java the best, I'm gonna put Java professional. Maybe the next one is Python and I'm not as good, so I'm gonna put intermediate. And lastly, we have like maybe C++, so we're gonna put like beginner. And just this just allows um, the recruiter to see how many languages you've done and how good you are at those languages. Don't worry about having a lot of languages. It really doesn't matter. It matters more about your work experience and your personal projects that you've done. Okay, so in the end, you can include your contact information. This is a really good way for the recruiter to contact you if there's a contact section. A lot of times recruiters might not use this and directly reach out to you based on email or your phone number, but this is still a really cool way for you to just basically put everything in. And now you can preview and you can see that everything is in a certain place. Um, everything works out. You can press on the sections and you have your personal projects here and it looks all looks really good. So now you can go back and make your own Wix account or make your own Wix portfolio. Once again, guys, if you want to make a portfolio website just like the one I made, make sure to check out my tracking link. It's gonna be in the description box below. Good luck, everyone.